Old and Aki here with another Destiny video, and this is the Daily Heroic Story for today, December 7th, Day of Infamy, as it were. And it is Paradox. And this is the one where we got to go to the through the vault of glass and down into the bowels of the vault and to find a fallen guardian called Praetith. And along the way, we got a lot of fighting to do. It is one of the Vanguard's greatest triumphs. The destruction of time's conflux. A victory over the Vex collective mind. From deep in that vault, we've received a signal laced with an old Vanguard signature. Vex technology... And that's what we're going to go looking for. ...and weave of time itself. If a guardian has become lost... A lot of explaining going time, on here. We must return them home. Okay, let's get to it. And as we start, notice that we are at the Vault of Glass, the Waking Ruins, but uh, really the uh, where we spawn in the Vault of Glass raid. And also notice that the Vex are kind of act, acting kind of funny here. So just don't worry about it. That's why you're here. Wait, don't shoot them. They're not in a combat sequence. Okie dokie. I think they're waiting for something. So, as soon as, the, as soon as the vault door opens, we'll just go right on in. And whatever you do, see where the waypoint is? Don't turn left. Because you'll fall to your death like I did the first time I tried this. Just follow the path as if we were going down to the Templar. Which, which is actually where we're going. We're going to head down to the Templars area from the Vault of Glass and one of the earlier stories, actually. And again, look, let's see, the, uh, the Vex are just kind of uh, short-circuiting there, so we'll just go right on by. Now, if you're a little short on ammo, uh, it's possible that you can, you can take one or two down and get an ammo drop. Not guaranteed, but possible. Okay, so here we go, on our way to the Templar. I'm sure everybody remembers this who's run the raid. Now I am writing this uh, with my Titan Sunbreaker to start. And I'll show you the weapons I have uh, when we get down here towards the bottom. Sunbreaker. Yeah, I was thinking about now. I'm gonna stick with Sunbreaker. Okay, when I get below here, I'll flash up my inventory again. Uh, we have to, we have to jump down to get things started. Um, essentially, getting towards that what appears to be an open door up ahead. And my primary is a hung jury uh, scout rifle I got from. Uh, I got from Dead Orbit. The secondary is the next big thing. A shotgun, and I'm switching my uh, Truth rocket launcher for a Soul Edge as my heavy weapon. And the nice thing about the Hung Jury uh, Scout Rifle is that it's got the Firefly perk. That's great for uh, Taking out multiple enemies in a group, or at least weakening when you when you put a headshot on one of them. Okay, when we start off here, we're going to start to the right, and we have to be really careful because there will be two captains, two sword captains, sneaking up from behind. There they are. All right, so this is why I got the shotgun. That's one of the primary reasons is to take out these guys, the captains and centurions, actually. All right. Let's take out the ads. There's a yellow bar uh, captain up there that we're going to have to deal with. And he's getting his shield replenished uh, by, uh, I would expect, uh, thralls or somebody. Anyway, ads, if you will. And 
and he just keeps firing them goo, goo balls at me. The uh, blinding uh, blobs of black. And at this point, I'm getting a little irritated. Oh, and I can't believe it got around the corner like that. Just getting a little irritated. There's one of the guys that's getting uh, his shield replenished. What I decided to do in this particular run, I don't always do it this way, in this particular run, I'm going to sneak around taking from the backside. Before I take out the uh, captain, I, I do need to take out these uh, goblins or whatever they are. Whoever's giving him extra uh, shielding. Oh, I hate when he zigzag like that. Can't put sustain fire on him. Okay, let's see. He's, he's getting the shield replenished again. All right, I think we're down to just him. And we're going to play ring around the post here. What I want to do is get a good uh, bead on him. Got my shotgun out. I'm going to take about probably three or four shots to take him down. Depends on how close I get to him and where I can get him in the head. Notice when I get up close, though, the shotgun staggers him back. So you just keep pumping him full of shotgun pellets and it'll take him down. All right, now I got the next wave coming up. And it's going to be the little guys plus centurions this time. And again, we got to take out the, uh, the what, essentially the as because they're replenishing the shields of the bosses. And this is just a regular old centurion, but uh, there is a yellow bar back there. Again, I'm I'm taking them out here from this side. It gives me my best uh, shot of cover. Oh, that's nice. Upgrade. Now, the Centurions are the ones that fire these uh, floating black grenade things at you. The bombs, whatever you want to call them. Alright, there is at least another ad up there with a Centurion because he was giving that guy uh, uh, some juice. Yep, there he is. Alright. And that's not the last one we got to deal with. There, like I said, there is a yellow bar, and he just poked his head around the corner there. Ah, oh, shoot. Alright, he caught me in a reload. Alright. And then, of course, maybe me doing the melee on the on the, uh, the floating bomb will minimize damage. Well, that's not too bad. I only took down a third of my shields. I gotta, I gotta position myself here, so I'm gonna run around. One, two, three, four. Okay. Again, notice that the shotgun uh, staggers him back. All right, now we're down to the last wave. And they're gonna come out from this area here, and then out from the center. And in this particular wave, I have to deal with camouflage minotaurs. Solar based grenades at me, I believe. Or, uh, from a grenade launcher. Something. Something nasty. Ah, crap. I hate it. I'm gonna get the extra boost there. Uh, I think that's. Oh, wait, it's insuring it. No, I mean, the, uh, the captain. So I got that to deal with too. Oh, great. Now, there's the benefit of Firefly. I just took it, I had a two for one there. Oh, i playing too much Halo. I was trying to reload there. Oh, we got Hobgoblins, firing snipers at us. Got all kinds of stuff going on. Yeah. Oh, we got a major uh, captain now. Yeah, the third wave is pretty tough. But if you're leveled up enough with weapons and armor, uh, this is very survivable. And you know how to position yourself, obviously. Oh, there's one of the camoed uh, minotaurs, so I'm going to haul it 
back over to the other side. Sometimes when you're really trying to dodge them back there, you tend to fall off the platform altogether, so we don't want to do that. So I'm going to, I'm going to reposition myself over here let them come to me and I hate it when the vandals do that. Oop. There we go. I think I'm going to pull out my sword edge here and I'll take these guys out. Well, at least it's not a yellow bar. Yeah, that guy was getting extra armor. I'm going to be a little careful about the health here. Health is almost down. About time I pop my uh, super. That helps get my health back, by the way. Oh, crap. I'm gonna do this nice little flying hammer throw and ran out of the super. But back to the, uh, back to the soul edge. Again, I am trying not to get my health so low that one shot will take me out. I believe that's it. If the Taken are here in the vault, they are at the heart of the Vex collective mind. Imagine that's the machine planets of the Vex surging with Taken power. This All right, we're going to be switching weapons him. again. Special is going to be the sniper. Thousand yard stare, which is a really good sniper when it's leveled up. And back to my rocket launcher. Because we're gonna have to take out a super duper hydra down below. And in the meantime, fend off a whole bunch of ads and uh, take out some uh, oracles. So we've got a lot of fun ahead of us. A couple of ways to get down to the bottom. Uh, we can go through the door that is now uh, unprotected here, or we could use the old side door uh, uh, spirit balloon chest uh, route. Well, I'm just going to go down the middle. This has got the biggest drops, but it seems to be the easiest. I don't know where to make this speak now after so long. But if anybody's listening, the vault with two others. Kabir was intense sometimes. Alright, I'm going back to the here. They don't deserve this. In case I get overwhelmed, I can pop a bubble. I'm tracking the six. Just a and as it turns out in this run I didn't have to. Now along the way we're gonna have some hobgoblin taking hobgoblins. And I hate it, even when they die, those three uh, arc bolts come at you, so I tend to try to run and get in cover. All right, that's the first one. The others are a little bit further below. All right, and this is where we want to jump down and towards the end of the jump, but not too late, hit double jump to soften the blow here, because if you go straight down all the way to the bottom without invoking that second jump, uh, you can die. Whoop! There's another hive goblin. I've lost the signal. Something down here is blocking. Take him out. Yeah. All right, I'm take my time here. I'll let my health come back. Another hive goblin off in the distance. Cover. Yeah. A little more successful that time. Let my health come back up. There we go. Okay. Now what we gotta do is we gotta take that Hydra out. Once the Hydra is taken out, all the other guys will despawn and we can go to the end of the mission. But once we get him his health down to a certain extent, um, that's it. That hydra is causing the block. Take yeah, it yeah, out yeah. Once we get his health down to a certain point, then he's going to be using Oracle to replenish his health or make himself immune. 
So we have to take the oracles out uh, before we can take put uh, put shots on. Them. And in the meantime, there's a whole bunch of taken down here. Huh. You know he was up there. Like what happens with this? Well, with the uh, snipers is that once you put fire on them. They start firing out those uh, arc bolts. Oh, good, heavy. Now, at this point, I'm just kind of looking around, trying to find where he's at. I figure I'd follow the... Uh, I'd follow the... Uh, the trail of the ads here. At some point, I'd come back to him. But actually, it's, it's, they're leading me away. Again, Firefly is really... No, there he is. Let me put some more damage on him before he goes to the orbit. Yeah, he's, he's definitely firing at me. Let's see if I can put a rocket or two on him. Actually, here I wasted one round. That's not a horrible. And what I did here with the scout rifle, I just fired just to make sure that I that he wasn't uh, immune. And, of course, he teleported away from me over here on the other side now. Alright, he's looking like he can take a rocket hit. And of course he teleported away when I fired the second one. But you get the idea. We're getting close to the point where the oracles are going to appear. Because his health is down a bit. And what will happen is it will start with one. Um... One oracle to take out, and uh, you can tell when the or when the um, oracle's power is gone is that he'll start shaking, and then you can put fire on him. As soon as he starts stops shaking, we got to look for more oracles. Oh, here we go. Here's some uh, bad guys. Wonder where they all went. And again, I am using this trail of ads to get back to the oracle. I mean, back to the Hydra, and there's the first Oracle that we have to take out. So I'm expecting the Hydra to be just to the right here. I can't see him because of this rock, but just to the right of the Oracle. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. I want to get the Oracle in view, though. Oh, well, first what I'm going to do here is take out that gun. Ah, I hate that. He's getting, he's getting some extra protection from that, uh, whatever it is, you know, probably a flaw. Okay. So he's gone. Nope, he's not gone. At least his uh, overshield protection's gone, so I can go ahead and take him out. Now he's gone. Alright, so let's take out the Oracle here. And I'm switching over to my sniper. Take him out with the primary. Switch him to the sniper. See him shaking there? Uh, I've got him down pretty far. Oh, just about had him. Okay. You can use your uh, primary to take out the uh, take out the detaining bubble there. And here we go. Oh, I've got more ads coming in. And those arc bolts. Alright. I'm sure my health is okay. Well, there's some uh, special I can take. Alright, now I, got, I think we got to take out two orbitals. There's one, and there's two behind. And I believe I can get him with this time. See, he's shaking. Boom, he's gone. And that's it. The Oracle is no more. I mean, the uh, Hydra is no more. Yes. And I did have a three of coins active, but only got a legend. I didn't get my exotic drop during it. They're closing the door. I left. Just remember, tell them I left. 
Okay, let's go Sickness find the skeleton of Praetith but I can't and the end the mission. Now, actually, I ran this probably in about 20 minutes or so, which is, oh, 10 minutes faster than the last time I ran it. Which shows you if you're, if you're you know, if you got the right uh, setup here, you can get through it in a reasonable These amount of time. Taking a half an hour to run this is climb. really on the uh, bubble of whether or not it's worth it to get to 15 I legendary marches. Sorry, we couldn't bring him back. But 20 minutes is definitely Do doable. Apologize. And obviously, if you run this with a fire Guy, team and you, you get your, your the fire team positioned well, then you can rip through this in oh, 10, 12, 13 minutes or so. Because you can take the enemies out a lot quicker. You just have to know what's going on. All right. I got my 15 legendary marks. And it's time to go back to orbit. I do hope this helped you in your quest for today's daily heroic story, Paradox. This is Old Anaki signing off. Take care, everybody.